So, I'm driving and my daughter is in her car seat, swimming around in a sea of animal crackers and other petrified snacks from days gone by, and I'm singing along to the radio. And I'm giving it my all. My fantasy audience is giving me a standing O. Imaginary lighters are being lit. In the middle of a particularly righteous vocal run, I leave and do that thing that I usually say for your birthday. And now go, press play on that shiny CD. My daughter pipes up from the back. Mommy, why are you so mad? I'm not mad. Then why are you yelling? Taken aback, I slam on the brakes. Actually, I slow down, come to a complete stop at the stop sign. Not a maniac. And then I take a breath before turning to say, I'm not yelling. Mommy is rocking out. That's like singing, but when it's done by cool people. My daughter gives me that look of confusion and contempt kind that only a three-year-old can give. Well, now I am two steps past taken aback and smack dab on the road to I'm in no mood. Maybe it's because I'm on day one of a three-day juice fast, or maybe it's because we are 10 minutes from home and I'm five minutes from peeing my juice fasting pants. Whatever the reason, I am in no mood to be reminded for the 11 millionth time since becoming a mom just how uncool I am. Because you know what? There was a time before I was mommy or ma'am or even sir, which if I'm being honest, I've been called more than once, that I was just me. And me was awesome, rad, boss, cool, a baller, off the hook, and off the chain. What are the kids saying these days? I was jam. And yes, that is what the kids are saying these days. There was a time when I didn't get laughed at when I danced. There was a time that people were interested in my boobs and not just because they were milk delivery systems. There was a time that I once woke up with gum in my hair and it wasn't my gum. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's what I'm telling her in my mind. And as I'm having this conversation with myself about having this conversation with my kid, this guy pulls up behind me driving a sports car. The kind of sports car I used to ride around in all the time if you really want to know the truth. And he lays on his horn. Just go! And if you're like me, the sound of a car horn blaring in your ears when you're trying to have a pretend teachable moment with your child, that's like running face first into a sliding glass door. I roll my window down and express myself to the gentleman. Hey, you sucking mother piece! Pigeon face for or nobbler! Which he does, looking at me as he passes with that same look of confusion and contempt that apparently grown men in sports cars can give too. Just go around! Yeah, you jackass! Sorry. You're a f Which is when I catch myself and turn to my daughter and say, I'm so sorry, honey. Now that was yelling. Okay. And as we drive on, I crank the stereo and commence rocking out. I may not have gum in my hair, but I still got it. I know there will come a time when my daughter will not smile and say okay to my rocking out, but hopefully that day is still a ways down the road.